Well, I think the whole country really should start thinking about toilets. And this, you might think I'm crazy to say this, but uh, it is a very, very important thing. Mother Earth provides us with water and food for our sustenance and good health. Continuous exploitation of water resources, improper usage and inadequate disposal systems have resulted in contamination of our environment. Most of the sanitation options that we have used so far are now failing, including flush toilets. Water sources are being polluted with effluents from households and industry. This situation results in a variety of problems such as acute and chronic water shortage. Modern people tended to flush it away as soon as possible and away from, from the earth. Very often it is treat, uh, sent straight into the sea untreated, which is also very bad. Jala. Matama Vadi Pradesh Vala, Samanya uh Yalamudita Vesigili, Uturayan Yama Sidda Venama. Samani Varshaka Lady Vesigili Uturayama Vadi. The Villa Gala Grand Hanyu. Hanyu and the Nanga Hawajik or toilet to the Chilean and a block of Mahinda Sati Anaba, toilet to Turanava, and Pataravatin Madunga Day. And even in marshy places where the you know there's flooding. The septic tank system is is, is no good. Taken even Anga Pavicha then the Kuli Kill and the other and the and in any case, septic tanks have occasionally to be uh, drained out. The Bowser can't go anywhere near the place. We are so congested. Bowser is not alone. He 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 is not alone. In addition to that, I think uh, uh, we are uh, now we have to take water from the ground to drinking purposes. When we take water from the uh, sources, we should make sure that the water sources are not polluted. I think in this case, when you take this uh, effluent into the, the ground, uh, the water sources will pollute. Fifty percent of the OPD attenders, which uh, who comes to the OPD treatment for the government hospitals are coming for the uh, preventable diseases, especially diseases due to fecal contamination like diarrhea, typhoid, uh, viral hepatitis, like this. All of these diseases are due to the contamination of water and food by the human excreta. Another thing is that we have lots and lots of septic tanks. All over the country there are septic tanks. It worked okay for some time. But now our population has grown so much and we, the, we are so congested that we find wells cheek by jowl with septic tanks. We always talk about um, diseases like intestinal worms uh, um, and, um, and other uh, conditions like uh, diarrhea. And I think worldwide almost 6,000 children die daily of diarrheal diseases. The system we use at the moment, plus and discharge system, require a large amount of water. Because what we are doing now today is that we are taking this very expensive water. Colombo's water is very expensive, the treated water. And we use it for flushing a toilet. I don't know how many people are going to use it. I don't know how many people are going to use it. I don't know how many people are going to use it. I don't know how many people are going to use it. The current and future shortage of water uh, combined with sanitation, which is uh, sadly lacking um, in a huge 
part of the population of the world. In our area, we have no water. We have no water. We have no water. We have no water. Due to high water table, some people could not get dig a, a, a pit for their normal, normal type of uh, latrine construction. And certain places, people could not dig because of the rock formation in the area. So such locations also, we advise them to have it on ground. Ecological sanitation. Ecological sanitation. Eco sanitation. Parisarahitakami Vesigiriya. Ecological sanitation. Eco sans. Eco sans toilet. Ecological sanitation. Up to now, uh, when we want to uh, have the human exterior excreta uh, disposal, what we do is uh, we mix solid and uh, water, urine, everything together and we try to treat them after that, uh, whatever natural treatment or uh, very advanced treatment, we use uh, very much, very high uh, amount of money to do this. But in ecological sanitation, what we need to do is to keep the solid and the water separately and use them for as our nutrients. Proper management of the human excreta, feces and urine, and so separation and to protect the environment from the, the human excreta. The use of, of um, uh, almost no water, uh, the, the reuse of, of human uh, excreta and urine um, back into the, uh, into the soil. Uh, hopefully in, 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 in the final sense of the word make it a closed loop system where everything is reusable um, in, uh, and uh, what we produce as, as, as what we consider waste uh, is going to be a, a resource that is uh, going to be used for, for improving um, our lives uh, in the way of, of, of fertilizer in cultivation. I would say that uh, it's a kind of mechanism that we put the nutrients back to the soil instead of letting it uh, going as a waste or polluting water uh, which, which could be a threat in long term. Nature works in, in cycles and this is also a cycle in the sense that uh, what we take from nature as nourishment, from the earth as nourishment, uh, we must put back again to the earth. By Having ecological sanitation concept with us, we can ensure that people have the access for both. Uh, we can protect the environment, we can protect our water sources, and whereby we can ensure that people will have healthy environment to live. We have certain challenges to be sort of addressed. The food security, urban growth, water pollution, shortages of water. In all these respect, the ecosan concept would give an answer.